Hello, and welcome to Algebra 1 SOL Prep Week 5, Slope, Graph, and Writing Equations. Let's start with reminding ourselves what is slope. We use the letter M as a shortcut for slope for a graph line. Slope is rise over run or change in Y over change in X, where Y, we remember the Y axis is the up and down, so the up and down change, and then the right and left change for change in X, like the X axis. But we always think going right, going right. We always look at the right side of the line. So looking at the right side of the graph, we see where the right side of the line is, and we see this line is going down, therefore our slope must be negative. If we count the slope from one point to another point, first we do the up or down. In this case, it's down by seven units, so negative seven, and then to the right by five units. So our slope is negative seven over five or negative seven fifths. It's important that we always look at the right side of the graph to see where the slope is. The line is going down, so the slope is negative. We can count the slope of the line by using the formula from two given points. Change in y is y sub two minus y sub one, starting with the y's first over x sub two minus x sub one. We also remember our shortcut for a horizontal line, hoi, horizontal, and the slope is zero. Vertical line, vux, vertical line, the slope is undefined. The equation is x equals. So we see a horizontal line, the equation is y equals, like this one is y equals two. We see a vertical line, the equation is x equals, like this one is x equals, looks like negative four, because that's where it crosses the x axis. Let's do some examples. Which number is closest in value to the slope of line n? So here we see line n. I'm going to look at the right side of the graph, and I see that the line is going up. Up is a positive slope. So I see the negative ones, and I do not want that. So now I'm looking for which one of these. If I had to guess, I'd be guessing from just the positive choices. Now I'm going to pick two points that are on the line. I see one here crossing through a vertical and horizontal grid line, and one here. So I always go left to right. First, I see I'm going up one, and then I'm going to the right two. So it's one over two. Choice A is correct. What is the slope of the line through these points? Let's label these points X and Y. Subscript of one, because it's the first point I came to, and X and Y, subscript of two, because it's the second point I came to. And we'll use the slope formula, Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. First, plugging in the Y coordinates, negative three minus nine, Y2 minus Y1 over, now I'll plug in the X coordinates, 2 minus negative 6. Now I'm going to go to my calculator, and I'm going to remember that I can use the fraction to get this without having to type any parts of this piece by piece. So I'm going to press alpha, y equals, numerator, denominator is 1, so enter, and I'm going to type negative 3 minus 9, Go down to the bottom, 2 minus negative 6. Enter, and it gives me my slope in fraction form, negative 3 halves. Finding the equation y equals mx plus b of a graphed line, find the slope of the line, it goes in this first blank, this is the slope, usually called m. Find the y-intercept value. That's where it crosses the y-axis. That goes in that second blank. That's the y-intercept. For a horizontal line, like we said, 
y equals, because it crosses the y-axis. For a vertical line, x equals, because it crosses the x-axis. Examples, number three, which equation best represents line w? So first I want to think, have my equation in y equals like the first two, but these are not in y equals. So we're going to change these equations to be in y equals. So I'm going to solve for y. I'm going to get the y by itself. First, I'm going to subtract 8x on both sides, so the 8x is not on this side anymore. Then I see there's a 3 in front of the y, so I'm going to divide both sides by 3, positive 3. The y will be by itself, and I'm going to use my calculator to graph this, and I'm going to compare the graphs. But I have one more equation to solve for y. So again, I see here is the y. I want y by itself. So first, subtract 3x. Now I see that positive 8 is in front of y, so divide by 8. And now the y is by itself. We can go to our calculator and graph each of the lines to see which one it's going to be. y equals, let's start with negative 8x minus 4. Negative 8x minus 4. Now I could plug all 4 in at once, or I could check it one at a time. Let's go ahead and graph and see what this looks like. So it does look like it's crossing near the same place that this one's crossing, the y-axis, at negative 4. So this one is a possibility. Let's go to the second one. Now instead of erasing this, because I'm going to check it later, I'm going to highlight the equal sign and press enter. That keeps it there, it just won't graph it right now. Now let's do the second one. Alpha, y equals, enter to get a fraction. Negative 8 thirds x plus 4. Let's graph this one and see what it looks like. So I notice this one is crossing the y-axis above the origin, and this one is not. So I know that choice b is not the correct answer. Let's take a look at the next one. I'm going to plug this part, where the y is by itself, into the calculator. <clears throat> now I can erase the second one, because I know that was not the correct answer. Alpha, y equals, enter to make a fraction. Negative 12 minus 8x, and in the denominator, 3. Let's graph this one and see what this looks like. This one is also crossing the y-axis at negative 4, like this one is. So it is a possibility as well. Let's go back to y equals. I'm just going to press enter on the equal sign, but I'm going to leave it there just in case. Alpha, y equals, enter to make a fraction. Now I'm going to type in this one negative 12 minus 3x over 8. Okay, let's graph this one. Now, this one is crossing below the x-axis, but it's very close to the origin. It is not at negative 4 like this one, so this is also not a possibility. Which of these two looked better? Let's go back to y equals. I'm going to get rid of this third one, clear it out, and I'm going to go back to the equal sign, press enter, and turn these back on. Let's graph both of these and compare. So the first one crosses the x-axis between 0 and negative 1. That's not where this one crosses. The second one crossed the x-axis between negative 1 and negative 2, and that's where this crossed. They both cross the y-axis at negative 4, but the second one is the one that crosses the x-axis in the correct place. So I'm going to choose choice C. 
Another thing I can do is look at a table of values if it's too unsure. So second graph gives me the table and then I can compare the points. For example, negative 1, 4 is a point on the first graph. Negative 1, 1, 2, 3, 4 is a point on the first graph. It's not a point on this graph. On the second graph, negative 3, 4 is a point. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4. That is a point on my graph. So now I'm even more sure that C is the correct answer. Number four, which equation represents the horizontal line passing through negative three, one? Remember horizontal, hoi, therefore I should have y equals. So anything with x equals is not going to be a choice. Also, I know that x, y, so this is the number I want, therefore y equals one is the correct equation. Now we're going to practice finding equations that match the given slope and point or that matches the given two points using our calculator. Example number five, what is an equation of a line that passes through the points 0, 1 and 6, negative 1? So I'm doing this one given two points. I'm going to first make sure my equations are written as y equals mx plus b. Now I notice these three are, but this one is not. So I have negative x, I'm going to add x to both sides. And then I have positive three multiplied, I'm going to divide both sides by three. Remember that this is the part that gets plugged into the calculator. So now we are going to plug them in to y equals. So I've plugged all four choices into y equals in the calculator. Choice A, B, C, and D, just as they're written in the fraction way. Now we're going to press second graph and check the table for both points. Second graph, and now I'm looking at the table. First, let's look for the point zero, one. So zero goes with choice B, C, and D. It does not go with choice A, so I can mark off choice A as a possible answer. Now I'm looking for 6, negative 1. I'm going to need to scroll down to where the x is 6. There it is, and I'm looking for the y to be negative 1. I see that that's only on the red graph, which was my second choice, choice B. Choice B is therefore the correct answer. Number six, which is the equation for the line that passes through the point one half negative two and has a slope of four? Well, first thing to do when I'm looking at the given slope and a point is rewrite the equation into y equals mx plus b if needed, and I see they are already in y equals form, and then check the answers that have the same slope by plugging them into y equals. Well, if the slope is supposed to be four, and I know the slope is what is in front of the x, only these three are possibilities. This one has negative four, and that is not correct. So let's go to our calculator and type in choices A, B, and D. So I've plugged all of the choices A, B, and D into the calculator, and like last time, we're gonna look at the table. Second graph to get to the table, and I'm looking for the point one half comma negative two. Now I notice that the x's do not have halves in here. So here's something I can do to make the x have one half. Go to second table set, second window. Make the independent ask for the value. Press enter on ask. Now go back to the table and I can type in one half. One half, enter. And there's the three choices. I want the one that says negative two and that was the last graph. So choice D is the correct answer. Another way to do that in the calculator is if the X is one half, 
I can go back to my blank calculating screen, store the 1 half for x. So alpha y equals enter 1 half store x, like we did when we were solving equations. And now I will type this side, 4x minus 4, and see if it gives me the correct y value. 4x minus 4, and it does give me negative 2. So I verify D is the correct answer. If we need to find slope from standard form, AX plus BY equals C, it's easy to remember slope is negative A over B. This number in front of X divided by this number made negative. For example, what is the slope of this line? Well, the A is positive 3, the B is negative 4. So if I'm doing negative A over B, that means I'm doing negative 3 over negative 4, which makes a negative divided by negative is positive 3 fourths. 3 fourths is the correct answer. Number 8, the graph of y equals 3x minus 2 is translated up 5 units. What is the equation of the new graph? This is a great place to use the calculator again, where I'll go to y equals, and I'll plug in first the graph that they gave me, y equals 3x minus 2, and then all the other graphs, 3x plus 3, choice B next, always go in order of the letters to make it easier, choice C, 8x minus 2, and choice D, 3x plus 5. Remember that when we graph it, the first one is the original graph, and we want to know which of these translates this graph up 5 units. Just remember, translate means move. So the blue graph is the one we started with, and we're looking for which one is just moved up by 5 units. So again, translate means move. Which one is moved up by 5? So if we go and we don't remember what the colors are, well, we know the purple one and the black one are definitely not moved up. So I'm going to go back to y equals, and I see the black one is the third one. So I'm going to take that one out, press enter on the equal sign, and same with the purple one. Now we can have a closer look at the graphs. So again, this is the original graph. I'm looking for which one moves up. It's easier if we look at the y-axis, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It looks like the red one, which is the very first choice to begin with, which is choice A. I hope you had fun. Enjoy your practice.